Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to Kimber's Designs. If today is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, welcome to Kimber's Designs. And to my existing subscribers, welcome to Kimber's Designs. Guys, I'm going to be making this lovely, dashing, beautiful, gorgeous, African print claps purse. It is step by step tutorial. So guys, please watch it to the end. So guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also don't forget to click on the notification button. Don't forget to like, comment, share my videos. Thank you and God bless you. Material used are how would make use of um, this African print. This is original African print material. I'll be making use of pipe, the small size, and also, guys, I'll be making use of um, gum stay, and it's also called um, wording. So, I'll be making use of it for the gerb. I'll be making use of it to pad, you know, to pad up the African print. This is the um, first birdie and also the second birdie of the bag. So the length is 5.5 inches. Guys, make use of 5.5 inches for the length and for the width make use of 11 inches then after that you can now give it any shape you want it to be so for the corset the length is um, the width is 4 inches while um, the length is 17.5 inches so guys um, for the frame the frame of the bag the length is 1.5 inches and the weight is 8.5 inches so guys basically you guys can just use um can use any measurements for your frame you just have to be sure that it goes with the measurement of the body so this is going to serve as the flap which is six by you know it's six by four inches six length four inches for the width so you can just shape it give it any kind of shape you want it to be you're good to go so guys um <laughs> i'm gonna be taking a measurement for um the pipe so of making use of one inch for the material for the pipe so guys next thing to do now is to get to work first thing I'm just gonna put gum to the under I mean to the frame <laughs> then just um, gum into the fabric so I'm just gonna gum that to the fabric So guys, um, what I actually did here was I've already, um, you know, come the flap. The flap I didn't have any, you know, padding or foam to heat. But the first body, which is the front and the back, and also the corset, I had it. Um, I had it um, gum stay, which is called um, hooding. That is what I added to the corset and the body. So guys, I've already ironed it. The next thing is the um, lining. I'm gonna be using with it, and I've already, I've already cut it out. So guys, the next thing I'm just gonna be doing right now is to um, to bring out. I mean to 
actually bring out where my magnet it's gonna be sitting so I'm just gonna notch where my magnet would be at the first flap guys this is my first time making this lovely gorgeous bag guys I know you guys can do it more than what I'm doing it right now this is my first time and I really want to give you guys um, I really want to do I really want to try my best in this so guys I'm um, true with the with the magnet so next thing I'm just gonna be doing right now is to um, at, um, is to apply gum to the flap and then bring the two together and also the next thing I'm just gonna do is to stitch so I'm just gonna stitch um, my flap together using my flatbed machine So guys, I'm true with the flap. I'm true stitching the flap together. Um, guys, the next thing I'm just gonna be doing right now is to prepare, you know, where my pipe it's gonna be sitting. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit gum to um, to the fabric. I've already ironed um, the gum stay to it just to make it look a little bit not too because I don't want um, the fabric to look too light. So guys, after you know putting the pipe and all that, the next thing I'm just gonna do is to take um, is to sew the front and the back of the bag. guys time to stitch it's time to um, actually stitch the pie to the main body so I've already done this I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it with the second body of the purse so guys basically you know you just have to um, I mean you just have to take a measurement of where you want your um, where you want the, the pipe to start from and where you want it to hand also guys it has to be equal I mean the left and the right where you have your pipe it has to be equal so you have to take a measurement for it Guys, this is a simplest method to actually stitch your pipe. So I'm still gonna do um, a special tutorial on how you can, you know, stitch your pipe to your bag. So guys, watch out for the video. So I'm sure with the stitching of the pipe. So the next thing I'm just gonna do right now is I'm taking you know one inch from where my pipe stopped so I'm just taking one inch from the herb so I'm just gonna put my corset there the side and just stitch so basically the corset stitching it's gonna start from where I marked
guys i'm true with this teaching oh my gosh oh, this is really looking beautiful what do you think guys leave a comment under this video and tell me how you feel about this lovely gorgeous beautiful bag so guys basically now i'm stitching the um lining together guys see it you know just same method with you know the um fabric the only difference is you know i didn't you know adding um pipe to it guys look at how beautiful it's already looking so this is um the frame you just have to attach the flap to the frame guys what i'm doing right now is to do a chain order where my chain is gonna be sitting so basically this is a rivet and this is a rivet i'm making use of gold accessories this is a rivet and also this is a back hook then i'm just gonna take the rivet um cover you know just pin them together so basically I'll, i'm just gonna have it at both sides guys the next thing i'm gonna be doing right now is to attach the frame to the main back guys make sure you're not the middle of the back body and also the front body and also guys you need to notch the frame of the bag guys after coming the first frame then you know i'm just gonna put i'm just gonna glue my um lining to the frame inside so after gumming my lining which i've already done so i'm just gonna take the second frame and then glue it on each other After going the first part then I'm just gonna go to the second you know the second body so I'm just gonna glue the first frame after gluing the first frame I'm gonna attach um, I'm just gonna put my magnets you know after fixing my magnets then I'm just gonna glue my lining on the second frame and then stitch all around I'm gonna stitch just, um, I'm just gonna stitch all the frame together with my flap. So guys, I didn't see this. Um, the corset side if you notice um you know where the frame stops where the frame of the claps actually stop i actually i folded that the fabric i folded it inside and also folded the um lining inside so you know i glue them together so basically after gluing them together i'm just gonna do when i'm stitching the frame i'm just gonna stitch everything round together so guys i'm true with the frame i'm true with the magnets basically guys i'm just gonna stitch all around then after stitching around guys this tutorial has come to an end <laughs> so guys this is the end of today's tutorial i hope you guys really enjoy you know this 
tutorial please if you have any questions kindly drop your questions under the comment section feel free to ask me any question guys i hope you guys will be able to do this more than what i am doing right now please not necessarily you have to do the same shape you can come up with a different style of the French shape so guys thank you so much for watching my videos thank you so much for all your massive support thank you so much for your love guys I so much appreciate everything thank you so much please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification button don't forget to like comment and share thank you and god bless you